Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kian.Smart Home Tutorial. In today's video, we'll integrate a Toya Touch Switch with Home Assistant using local Toya integration from Hacks. Local Toya works locally, which means it is not relied on cloud. If you don't know what is Hacks, I'll find its video in description and watch it. Benefit of using this integration is that status updates are extremely fast even if manually operated as it works locally. What is needed? Hex must be installed in Home Assistant. If you don't have it installed, watch the video I mentioned earlier. Head over the Hex store, I click on integrations, then select explore and add repositories search for local Toya after selecting local Toya at the bottom of the opened window click on install this repository in hacks click on install Pending restart. So Home Assistant must be restart. I go to configuration, select server controls, click restart. Okay. The next things which is required is local key. Local key of the Toya device. In order to get the local key of your Toya device, navigate to iot.toyo.com. If you don't have an account, create a developer account by clicking on sign up. I already have an account. I'm logging to my account, development account. If it's the first time you are logging here, you must find a try free, something like this, free trial, but here. Click on it. Using this website, we can get our device key, which is needed. How? Let's go through it. On the sidebar, click on cloud. Select development and create a new project. Name it. Select industry. I select a smart home. Development method. I click a smart home. In availability zone, select your data center. Mine is China. Let's add another one. We need it later. Okay. In this video, we assume that you have paired your Toya device with Toya app. Then I click on create. In this window, which pops up, we must select a smart home device and management. You can remove other items. I click on authorize. Okay, I created a project named local Toya. After creating the project, we should link our Toya device to the project. I click on devices. In this page, I select link Toya app account. Then select add app account. A window pops up with a QR code. You should scan it with your Toya app. I open my Toya Smart app. On the app, select the plus icon in the top right corner. Then select the bottom that looks like a barcode scanner in the top right corner. I scan the QR code and confirm login. This links your personal Toya account to your developer Toya account. 
linking is done then navigate to all devices if you don't see your device here refresh the page as you see I have a smart 4 gang switch connected to my Toyo app this is the device ID copy it we need it later before going further let's click on service API as I selected or let's say authorized a smart home device management earlier in the video if you haven't done it you can do it here in this page I revoke authorization click on go to authorize from the drop down list I find a smart home device management select it and click OK I go to devices again in all devices tab you can find the list of your devices copy the device ID of the one that you want to integrate it with home assistant then select API Explorer in this page under device management select get device details in this section params device ID I paste the device ID at the bottom of the page I click submit request on the right pane you can find the information of your device search for the key local key copy it this is the local key of the device I copy the local key then navigate to home assistant in home assistant using hacks we installed local Toya after installing local Toya we restarted home assistant then we navigate to configuration select integrations here we must add a new integration I click on add integration search for local Toya select it please wait while local Toya is being set up device discovery pick one of the automatically discovered devices from the drop down list this is my device your Toya device and home assistant must be connected to the same network I select my device then click submit set a name for your device paste the local key in this section select submit in this window we have to select the entity type this is switch I selected switch then click submit my switch has four IDs I want all of them I start from selecting the first one then set a friendly name for it switch one you can skip other options click submit again it is a switch I want to add more entities so I uncheck this item click submit this time I select the second gang of my switch set a friendly name for it switch 2 click submit again I want it as switch I unchecked do not add any more entities because I want to add more entities click submit this time I want to add the third gang
let's add the fourth gang this was the last entity so pay attention that do not add any more entities that must be checked I click on submit the following device is found you can select an area for it then click finish your device added to home assistant it is one device with four gangs if I change the a status of each relay manually you see its feedback immediately in home assistant you see the fast update this is the benefit of local toya let's go to overview page in this page you can add your device to the dashboard That's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you find this video informative, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't done already. For supporting me, you can buy me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.